Hey guys, this is by far the most sophisticated battery checker that I have. To give you a little bit of insight, I have a bunch of these. I got this like in 2014 when I started flying and this one I got a little bit afterwards. Um, and I like to have a bunch lying around mainly because I tend to lose them. And when I say lose them, I don't mean completely forever. What I mean is kind of like I misplace them. And every time that I need to check my batteries, they never seem to be where I need them. So having a bunch lying around kind of increases my odds of having the one I need or having one at least. But this guy right here, uh, I want to thank Banggood for sending it over for testing. This is uh, capable up to 6S, it says MC6S. Uh, I want to say is multi-checker. Yeah, multi-checker, maybe it's multi-checker what it means, but this is URUAV. And they have a website, uh, but also Banggood distributes them. So I'll put a link in the description on the how to buy it, where to find it. And this is kind of interesting because it is not your average multi uh, battery checker. It actually does a couple other things. But let's get straight to the point because what I really wanted it for is to test batteries. Um, so I have here a 1500 4S. China Hobby Line, and I have a 6S, and I have a 5S Adrenaline by Thunder Power, and they are at different voltages. I don't have one that's fully charged, but these are either storage or flown. Uh, let's start with the 4S. Uh, the pins are on this side. The important thing is to understand that the ground is that way, and then you start at the ground with the pins here at the top, and plug it in, and immediately you get a reading. Keep in mind, that due to the camera, there's something with cameras and LED panels that you can never make them look right. It actually is bright enough. It's actually set to the other function, so I'm gonna to wanna to change it. There it is, volts. It's very clear in real life. You know, I can clearly see the red, green, I mean, red, orange, yellow, brighter yellow of this forest reading 375 3.76 3.77 3.75 sorry that in the screen in the camera it doesn't look that bright it is just the thing with cameras um so plug that one let's go ahead and do the 6s which i know it is a storage i don't know if it has reverse polarity protect protection and i'm not about to find out so be sure to plug it in correctly and as you can see, this one's reading 3.80 something on each of them. So it's a storage, all six cells. And let's do this guy. Keep in mind that the pins are not keyed. So you gotta make sure to plug it in correctly. That kind of tells me that they probably put reverse polarity protection because if they don't key them, they wanna make sure that you get them on right. I know one day I'll plug it in incorrectly and I'll find out, but it's not gonna be today. And there it is, this guy. I see four and five, the cells are a little bit off, especially uh, number four. But there you have it, that's the basic function, you know, checking your voltage, which is what I want it for. But there is a downside. Uh, it does not add the total voltage for you. As you can see, it just gives you individual cell voltages and that's it, you kind of have to figure it out. Um, that is not a deal breaker. I mean, for the, the price, this is like 10 bucks. It's fine. I kind of wish at the bottom here, it will give you a full pack voltage. It doesn't, but I can still use it for what I need because I know at what these cells need to be at. In fact, individual cell voltage is more important than the full voltage. But like I said, it would be nice to have that feature. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to a couple other things. Now, this thing does more than just read your voltage. It is also a receiver tester. Um, it has a plug here for, this is kind of a standard plug the Spectrum receivers use, which is kind of like this guy here. It looks like a Pico Pico blade, you know, like a Pico blade connector, but I'm not exactly sure. It seems a little bit bigger. I don't use them very often, so I don't actually know what they're called, but I know this is the standard that comes with Spectrum. And then the other connectors here, let me get a pointer. Those other pins are for a servo connector if you use that on your receiver. And you can always rig up a cable just for testing that you can plug into either of these, which is fine. 
One thing to keep in mind though, when you're actually gonna test, make sure your polarity is correct because I had a receiver here from the olden days. If I find it, that I was going to use for testing this guy that I had in an old quad from like 2015 and I noticed that the polarity is actually different the way it's run on the flight controller that I was running it on, which I think it was a Tempest F3. Um, and um, yeah, I had to change the order so I wouldn't mess it up. But before we can get there, uh, over here it has a button selector when you read it correctly. This, you select the different modes. So it'll go from like PWM, PPM, SBUS, DSMX 1024, and DSMX 2048. I don't think it does crossfire. Um, and I don't have a receiver available that I can just plug in and check. So, sorry. But the, uh, uh, you know, the other functions it does it, the other protocols, and a lot of you I know have um, use SBUS too. So now over here, this selector right here gives it the voltage that you need. It has a regulator on board. So the way it works, in order for to test a receiver, you need to give it power. So it's not gonna be powered on its own. The way it is, it's powered by this thing. So the way you power it, it has a USB-C on that side and it has a USB micro, which we use for the flight controls. And you can plug into either of those and it gives the tester power. And I test it with a multimeter and out the pins come the right voltage, five volt and 3.3. .3. Now, if you got one of these, make sure you set it before you plug it in because you don't want to burn it because they don't like five volt, 3.3 volts for spectrum. If you have a five volt one, you're fine, but otherwise be careful. I'm gonna show you how this works because I actually wasn't gonna go too far into this because I really just wanted it for battery testing. But I thought, you know what? At times I've wanted to be able to test a receiver without having to stick it on a flight controller and a quad and whatnot. And you know, this is actually pretty convenient. And for $10, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna plug it in back here. This is how you give it power. As soon as you plug it in, it comes to life. It's set to volts. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it to, there's SBUS. DSMX 1024 or DSM, what's the other one? DSM one, two, whatever, DSM two. Um, DSM, there, so mine I know is 10, is 2048 because that's what I used to use. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the connector correctly, there. Okay, and now I am going to Turn on my radio and immediately, as you can see, I'm gonna put it closer so you can see it. There we have our readings. So I'm doing here pitch, roll, throttle at the top in red, and yaw. And as you can see, it reads all the way, 1000 at the left to 1500, uh, 1499, and 2000. On roll, it does 2000, is that what it's reading? Oh, I'm in the right the wrong one. Uh, let me see which one it is. There we go, this guy. So 1,000, let me keep it still. 1,000, 1,500, 1,499, and 2,000. So this is a very good way to make sure you have your, your receiver set up properly before you put it into anything. I can see this very being very useful for like wings, uh, you know, fixed wings or even quads. I, I think I find I got used to not needing something like this for because I for so long I had to make sure I have everything right and set it and check it in the quad. But I know one of these days I'm gonna be working on a quad and I'm gonna be like, oh, I this is useful now. So there you have it. If you want a battery tester that can do more than just test batteries, this thing is the way to go. I really like this. I'm stoked to have it and I know it'll be become be very useful in my field bag. So there you have a UR UAV multi checker. There's a link in the description to get this off Banggood. Uh, it is a affiliate link, small commission if you buy it. Nothing great, but it helps. I appreciate it. Uh, and Go ahead and please thumbs up to this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. There's a lot of good things happening in this channel and only because of you guys. Thanks and I'll see you on the next one.